Hello friends, welcome back. I'm Faraz and I'm today super excited to show you this new feature import data from local files with Power Query in Mac. Currently this feature is available in Office Insider. So if you're very lucky enough and this update has been pushed to you, then you can take the advantage of this one. Well, in my previous video, we have seen that how can we refresh the Power Query that has been built in Windows. You can bring it to the Mac and refresh it. So that was a feature which was introduced. That was a phase one that time. And now we are gradually going to see some amazing phases coming up. So this is a UI phase, which I'm going to show it to you. So also, if you'd like to know more technically that what was happening. So this is a great article written where they have talked about all the challenges, some crazy stuff they were doing it and they make this amazing technology possible to bring it in Excel for Mac. So let's go and dive into Excel and see how can we get this data. So let's go to data and get data from Power Query. But before that, I would just like to show you the file which is there, which we are going to import it. So now if you can see that this, I have the dynamic arrays which have been written over here and I have some graphs and I have some these stars, these emojis and another sheet where I have the data into Excel table. Now we want to make sure that we pull this all information over here. So let's go to data, get data. You get these sources available over here. So right now we are going to say Excel workbook. Let's go browse and we are going to connect it to this power query. So let's get data next. So you get these options for the sheets as you have seen it in the windows also that you can select the sheet and table. So let's say that when I'll select the sheet, I'll get check mark and then this icon will be activated and let's go and select the sheet as well. So click on load. So the information from that workbook is loaded over here. Now let's go back to this workbook and let me show you one thing. So if your data is in table, table format, like how you have it over here, your Excel table, then it will automatically pick up the header name. But in case if you don't have your data into a header table, then it will give us like column one, column two, column three, and so on. And in fact, in the future, we can see the more new UI improvements where we can even filter the data and some amazing stuff are going to come soon. So let's go to the sheet one and let me go and add some data. Let's say for us and shake enter and I'll save this and let's go back over here, right click, refresh, and I will get that information added to the sheet. So let's go and grab your text file. Let's go to data, get data, my text file, browse, and you can get this text file, get data next. And you can just see that it has neatly made the column width by comma. I can just say it by comma. So it has automatically split it by comma and I can say load. So it has loaded that information over here. So you can see it that all that CSV files information can be easily pulled over here. So let's go and grab a file, which is an XLSM file. So let's go to data browse. And this is my XLSM file, get data and let's go hit next. And this is the table. This is the one which I would like to get it. And let's say load. Perfect. So right now we can see we have Nisha records over here. Let's go to that workbook. And in this workbook, this is a query which has been built on Windows version and I'm just simply refreshing it on the Mac. So I'm just taking the data and unpivoting it. So let's go save this one and then refresh. So you can see the Nisha records have been gone. So let's save over here and come back to this file, the file which is connected now to the Excel sim. Right click, refresh, everything runs smoothly within fractions of seconds. So this is the first UI interface in Power Query for Mac. So I hope my friends you have enjoyed this video. So make sure that you hit that like button, share this video, subscribe to my channel and do let me know in the comment section your thoughts about Power Query for Excel for Mac. So I'll be seeing you soon. Till then, take care. Bye.